Hello friends, this is Ruben with Hi-Fi MIDI. I'm always excited when I get to review and demo a new plugin because I enjoy sharing my experience with others, giving my honest impression, and hopefully helping you decide whether that money burning a hole in your pocket should go toward the instrument I'm reviewing or some other one. With that said, I want to talk about AmpleSound's newest plugin called AMR, or Ample Metal Ray 5, which is a sample of Music Man's famous Stingray 5 bass introduced to the world in 2009, according to their website. This bass is famous for its distinctive aggressive tone and volume, perfect for metal. As I stated in my other metal video, I am not a metal musician, so my experience is very limited with its sound and equipment. So my hope is not to waste your time with newbie impressions on a bass, but I can give you a solid opinion on my user experience and let you be the judge of whether you like the sound of it or not. So I bet you're wondering what it sounds like. Well, before I show you, I just want to mention a few things, like the new features on this, on Apple Sound's website, they list it as the ability to alternate the tuning. The lowest this can go is uh, an A0, which is very, very low. All you have to do is twist this right here. Pretty cool. Um, I love the graphic user interface. Love the colored strings. It's very simple. It's beautiful. The layout is very simple. You also have a pick attack accentuation ratio, which allows you to get a different pick characteristic for added realism. And then you have other features that are carried over from their other plugins, such as dynamic articulation switching, which is changing the articulation based on how fast or how slow you, you hit the key. A new features that were carried over was, is the Cycle Plus toggle. So if you're playing really quick note repetitions, it gives you more samples to choose from. That way you don't have that machine gun effect. And playing these keys right here, single note repeats, um, will, will trigger those. I'll give you an example. This is the bass without any effects. AmpleSound's website says that there are two kinds of palm mute and dead notes on the dynamic articulation switching. Now, these would be hard to access playing live, so I think they're, they're meant for programming, which wouldn't be too difficult to achieve. All you have to do is adjust the velocity in your DAW. And here's that note repetition. What a beautiful sounding bass. Right off the bat, I'm always impressed with the level of detail with Ample Sound samples, which is why I'm always reviewing their newest stuff. You can hear the buzzy quality that is great for cutting through the walls of a guitarist. It sounds amazing to me. All right, so what does it sound like with effects? Well, I'm running it through Amplitude 4 using Ampeg SVT4 Pro and their, I think that's a, uh, a PB212H cab. Um, no, no other effects on it. And under the preset browser, there are, uh, there's a preset called Bright Pick, Bright Pick SVT4. Click on that um, and you'll get this sound. So here it is without effects. Here it is with effects. Sounds pretty good. 
Now, in this little demo that I made, remember, I'm not a metal musician, but I'm, I'm getting into it. I have as my lead ample eclipse, ample metal eclipse with amplitude, triple rectifier, orange cab, some delay, and then for my rhythm, ample metal eclipse, and uh, digital reverb, Amplitude's valve preamp, and their um, Brit 30 cab with some overdrive and reverb. And then for my harmony, I have Music Lab's Real LPC, a very fun plugin with delay. MH, I don't know what that's from. Fender, okay. Metalhead. And some compression and overdrive. Then I'm using Superior Drummer Avatar. And I have a synth swell from Omnisphere. Morning in Dublin. All right, here it goes. friends i hope you enjoyed this review of ample metal ray 5 i was really impressed with this plugin and i hope you were too so please like this video share and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so also feel free to leave comments in the comment section i love interacting with all of you guys and i'll see you next time